in the biblical text and in some places outside of it, you do get this interesting thing where a lot of times these prophets are either crazy-ish, Ezekiel comes to mind, or runs around without clothes on, stuff like that, where something's weird's going on and it seems like there's some association where it's like, well, these people are doing these crazy things. Something supernatural must be going on. Clearly, just as much as today, the ancient world, people sh present it in, in various forms of ways. And some are more standard and others are less standard. For me, uh, hanging out naked uh, for several uh, months is not the sort of normal kind of thing that one does in polite society. Um, and I think the fact that they record it that way in, in the biblical text also implies that it, they find it odd. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, it is attributed to characters who are already identified as prophetic. And therefore, mm -hmm. it is understood as we use the term sign act in scholarship, uh, namely behavior that is meant to express in in a lived version, a sort of divine message. So rather than speaking out in words, they speak out in the way that they behave. Huh. We do have um, one reference to something that could be akin in a Maori text, where a prophet uh, requests a sheep only to tear it apart alive, um, oh. which is a very gruesome uh, kind of prophetic display. Um, I most certainly uh, would be taken aback by it. And I think that is the intention of, of this whole affair. Um, and then they they make a, in one for a better word, a sort of pun. Um, they look at, uh, so the term for uh, a disaster uh, and the word for eating are derived from the same root etymologically. And this prophet makes a pun out of that, this disaster for the sheep and the eating of the dead sheep um, stands in or is a sign that a disaster will come and that the gods will behave towards us like I have just behaved towards this sheep. Hmm. And to me, that indicates that at least with figures that are identified as prophetic by their societies, um, and of course, there's a lot of anthropological work on certain of, of how this seem, tends to operate in uh, human societies. If, if a figure has been recognized as a prophet, as a messenger from the beyond, messenger of, of, of the divine, then um, what they do, and if they do something really extraordinary, that has to be interpreted in some shape or form in order to be fit into the particular worldview that these people are in. Uh, and then yeah, hanging out naked or tearing a sheep apart becomes a sign for a divine message. Or indeed, in Ezekiel's mm -hmm. case, hanging out on one side for 150 days and then for 40 days on the other, etc. Like they, they do really very strange things. Yes, I think that's pretty clear that something like these things, these sort of mad forms of behavior, or what we would consider mm -hmm. mad, uh, did happen.